Hey everybody, I thought you'd like to come along for this. Unfortunately, my microphone wasn't working and I didn't realize it until after we had shot all this video. And this is a once in a lifetime thing, so we couldn't just go back and shoot it again. It was a bit disingenuous to do that. Brandon is our oldest. He's 10, almost 11. And if it weren't for the stature of a 10 year old, he is a very intelligent boy and could have been learning to drive long before this. Uh, but as it is, we just now reached a point where he can safely operate the lawnmower, having the seat all the way forward. And so here he is going around the driveway in our front yard. And while I'm sure he has the gas pedal pushed as hard as it can possibly go, he is currently as slow as the choke will keep the lawnmower. And he's been told just to keep it on the rocks, except of course for going around the van over there. And if he does a good job, then I told him we'll up the speed and let him keep practicing to drive. So that's what's happening. He's just going to keep going around here and as he continues to learn, we will let him go faster. I think he's been doing a pretty good job, so here I am giving him the thumbs up. And I don't think he could hear what I said, but the thumbs up was enough for him to figure out that I said he could up the speed a bit. So I'm going to let him go around a, a few more times at this speed and see if the increase in the speed messes him up at all. He's doing a great job. Uh, for his first time actually driving a vehicle, he's he's driven a battery-powered four-wheeler several years ago, but he's never driven anything else. Um, we've always wanted to get him a gas-powered four-wheeler or a dirt bike or something, but those are awfully expensive toys. So he's having to learn to drive on an actual machine. So I'll let him go fast here for a few minutes and bring you guys back. All right, now we're going to teach him a little bit about going in reverse. I brought him right up to the wood line and explained to him that he couldn't go either direction because the woods were in his way and just asked him, what are you going to do? And he didn't even flinch. He put the, uh, the lawnmower in reverse. Uh, he's having a bit of a hard time with that. It's, it's hard to push that little button down. And I tried to, to explain to him the wheel that he, because he's going backwards, the wheel is backwards. And he cut me off and finished my sentence. So he already knew that that was going to happen. He didn't even flinch with it. So off he goes. All right, so here you are. You can see he is at full speed. This is uh, faster than I mow the yard at for certain. And it's a bit ironic because he'll probably only get to do this chore for a year or two, and the rest of this yard will be permacultured out with food, and there won't be any yard for him to mow except a little tiny patch in the back so we can still throw the Frisbee around. But he's definitely got full control of it at full speed, so let's up the game. Okay, so we just had a little bit of a discussion and he's been doing a good enough job that I'm going to let him try to go around the house. And this is going to give him some experience because there's a bit of a slope and there's a lot more obstacles throughout the backyard for him to get around. But I'm not even going to follow him. He's been doing a great job. So let's swing around and see if he comes back out the other end. Okay, it sounds like he's coming. He looks like, he sounds like he's been making good time, like he hadn't had to stop or hit anything. And there he is. Not badly done at all. All right, that burns out a lot of gas, so that's probably all we can do for today. Can you put it back where we got it from? Alright, so now he's got to use everything he's been learning to try to put the lawnmower back right next to the tractor. 
it's going to have to back it into this little slot. And if uh, what he's been doing so far is any indication, he won't have a problem at all with it. Hey, look at that. What a smart kid. I didn't show him that. He, he was having a hard time reaching the, uh, the reverse pedal. It's one of those ones where it's kind of like a little button in the floorboard and you can push it down with your heel. But he was having to use his toe because he couldn't reach it very well. And I didn't tell him that that was the same pedal. He just realized it himself and he's using his heel to pull it back instead of try to push it down. Good job, son. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.